Here we're going to tie a fly called the rubber legs. First thing we're going to do is lay down a base of O2 a wire on the shank of the hook. Then we're going to get our thread started and we're just going to wrap over this wire just to keep it in place. This doesn't have to be pretty, just needs to be functional. We're actually going to cover all this up anyways, so try to keep it fairly smooth and just secure it. Kind of taper it on each end. Step it down from the wire. Once you've got the wire in place, you're going to take your thread to the back of the hook. Here we're going to tie in our tails, which are going to be some pieces of life flex. We're going to tie these in on top of the shank. do two tails. I leave them kind of long at first and we kind of want these tails to splay away from each other. It's probably one of the more difficult parts of this fly is to get the rubber legs to kind of cooperate and do what you want them to do. There we go. So you can see the legs are kind of split. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to tie in some black and coffee chenille. I'm going to be tying the black and coffee version of this fly. You can tie it in other colors. It's not the only color it can be tied in. There we go. Just made my tie in here a little shorter. Then we're going to take our thread up to the thorax area. We're going to go about two-thirds of the way up the hook. And here we're going to make a set of three legs on each side. So the first set here, I'm just going to tie it in. And to keep them in place, I'm just going to X the thread right on top of the fly. We want these legs to face slightly backwards or just straight out. That's fine, just like that, how they're facing slightly backwards. Now we're going to do the same thing, just right in front of it, just a hair in front. The key is not to spread these legs out too much. You want just a little bit of room in between. There we go. These legs I want to face straight out or a little bit forward. So once I get them secure, I'm going to pull them slightly forward and lay down some wraps behind them. go. Take my thread forward, do the same exact thing for the third set. Last set's always the more difficult one. you've got those in place, you're going to take your thread all the way to the front. What I'm actually going to do is take those legs. I'm just going to take my thread and just put one wrap over it. Let's see. And that'll help keep them out of the way. Now we're going to take our chenille. Now, once I get to the back legs, I'm just going to let go of that thread. I'm going to pull each of the legs back, put the chenille in place. And 
just like that. Now, once I get to the front, I can capture that chenille. Kind of have to dodge all your, your legs that are sticking out. And I can trim the chenille out of there. Clean up the head a little bit. Now we're ready to tie in the antenna. So I just take a rubber leg and I wrap it around my thread, put it into place on top of the hook, pull those legs over the top. A lot of legs going on with this fly. There we go. To get the legs into place, you can clean up the head. Usually what I'll do is I'll trim the antenna. Then I'll whip finish. And you could trim all the legs. Usually what I do is I draw all of them up. This is an easy way to get them all to be the same length. And usually you want them to be about the length of the shank of the hook. So I just kind of eyeball it, maybe a little less. Then you can pull them into place. I trim the tail about the same as the antenna, about half the length of the hook. That's all there is to a Pat's rubber legs. Looks like an easy fly because there's not many materials, but it's actually a real pain to tie just because of all the rubber legs. They like to get in the way and make it difficult to tie. Here I'm just going to color up the head of the fly, kind of model it just like I use the modeled chenille. It helps it kind of blend in. Just use a little sharpie. use black thread it kind of just stands out so if you use a sharpie you can kind of model it just like the body and that's all there is to a rubber legs tie it in lots of different colors this is by hands down my favorite though